Once upon a time, the world was ruled by rigid order, and by the lobsessed alicorns, who had rules for everything and anything, from how ponies walked to how they breathed. They were jealous of us sea ponies in our music, for it was the one thing they could not create in their cold, mechanical hearts. Their slaves questioned if their masters were truly as almighty as they said, if they could not create music as beautiful as the sea ponies. They debated between sending us to the moon or drying up our ocean with the power of the sun they had enslaved. Eventually, they chose to curse us into big, ugly, horned monsters called buffalo, ensuring we would drown in our own ocean. But Master Discord, who loved our music, saved us by making the grim choice to remove our oceans so we, and our songs, might live. Sadly, he could not undo the curse the Alicorns had placed on us so long as the so-called elements of harmony still functioned, named so to disguise their true purpose of imposing unyielding order upon innocent ponies. What did Alicorns look like? asked Waterflower. Aquamarine grimaced. They were absurd monsters, with vergicorn horns, hippogriff wings, and the bodies of earth ponies, but all stretched out. Waterflower blanched. They sound ugly. They were, though they insisted they were beautiful, and all that was beautiful was therefore ugly. But Master Discord fought against the massive army of alicorns and single-handedly restored the elements to their true forms, and was able to break the curse. He granted us our new ocean flowing the sky, safe from those who would still seek us harm and ensured that the ground below was another layer of defense from those who would destroy us in the jealousy of our music. And that is why we constantly produce new songs in tribute to Master Discord. The sea ponies all cheered and flapped their flippers and fins. An ocean of snowflakes, no two alike. Some resembled seahorses, others octopi. Still others looked like dolphins, but all were beautiful, all innocent, all cheering aquamarines' recount of their origins. Random foals stuck their heads out of the water on the side to watch the cotton candy clouds fly by, sticking their tongues out for a quick taste of the chocolate rain. Others fluttered on the surface, lazily watching the sun and moon switch positions. Some merely watched ponies on the ground far below listen to their singing. Their ocean in the sky, the mighty floating body of water Mazar had given them that would never be taken away from them by the alicorns.